So to first download the VM, you want to go over to the VMware Workstation Player 17. After you look that up, you'll see this web page. Navigate to the bottom of the web page and you'll see this download. Once you download that and extract and run it, it should give you a working version of a virtual machine player. With this, you can run an ISO of Kali Linux and have a virtual machine of Kali on your Windows PC. Next, you want to navigate over to this website, zsecurity.org, and look up their Kali installations. These give Kali installations with some tools already pre-installed. You want to click on link one, and then that will be an ISO file. You can put that into your VMware workstation once it's installed and have a working ISO Kali uh, virtual machine. Once this is all up and running, you can open Terminus, which is the top red application, and start running commands. The first command you want to run is sudo apt update and and sign, and then sudo apt in upgrade. What this will do will update all your outdated directories to the current one. You might have to press Y a few times for it to like properly install, but that's all good. And then once you do that, you'll be able to install Ferrix Buster. So first you want to head over to the Ferrix Buster GitHub page, which is right here. And then you want to scroll down to the bottom. And then this is another cool website that you can use, portswigger.org. It gives you um, unsecured websites that you can penetrate on your own without any access for free. And then you can use these tools that you used to better secure your websites. So this will be like a fake shop website and then it's just like unsecured and everything. So first thing you wanna do, this is another cool trick. Um, every, most websites that you come across will have a hidden directory called uh, robots.txt. And you can type that after the slash of most websites and you'll come up with a page. This page will show you like domains that are usually not allowed for people to access. And you can see, usually there'll be more in the uh, disallow, but this website only has one. But that can be used to see just right off the bat if there's any um, domains that are not secured, just like this one. This is index of backup and it has a JavaScript file right there, which I should not be able to see from a just user. And this will have source code on it which you're also not supposed to be able to see. So any website that you come across, most websites that you come across will have a robots.txt file where you can access stuff like this. So then you wanna head back over to the Ferrix Buster GitHub and scroll down. You can type in a ferrixbustergithub.com and it'll just come up and then it'll come up across the site. You wanna to go to the bottom where you can copy the commands and then you'll see one for Kali. You wanna copy that and then put it into your terminus terminal. And now that everything's updated, it should work perfectly. And then once you run that, you'll have the Ferrix Buster tool installed in your Kali installation. With this tool, you still need a uh, word list for it to function. So you want to head over to this other GitHub site, which you can look up Seclis by the uh, Daniel on GitHub. And you'll find these directories. You first want to go into sec lists, discovery, web content, and then you'll find the common.txt file in that directory. And you want to install this also to your Kali uh, installation by using going back into the terminus and using the wget command followed by the link of the common.txt file on GitHub. And then this should install it right into your root directory, which you can use from anywhere. And then you can use that in addition to the Ferrix Buster tool to find the domains of any website. After you have both the Ferrix Buster tool and the word list installed, I will now show you how to uh, use the Ferrix Buster tool. So you first want to type in Ferrix Buster, and then here's another thing that can help you. If you do Ferrix Buster dash dash help, it can show you all the different commands you can do with the tool, which can help you with whatever you're doing. And then to use the Ferrix Buster to penetrate a website to find the domains, you want to type in Ferrix Buster space dash U and then space and then the link of the website you're trying to find information about. And then I'm getting the link to the Port Swigger website that is unsecured. And then after the link of that website, you want to do dash W for wordless and then do space common.txt for the word list that you downloaded. After you run this command, it should pop up with this window. 
this is the ferric oxide page and here is where you'll get all the information from the code you just ran so it'll test all these different domains and all the underlying domains are the ones that you can go to and then the numbers on the left signify if it's can return something so the 400 numbers that are in red those don't return a value so that'll get you no information but all the 200 values those will be domains that are active and you can go to and find information about now these last two lines are sometimes finicky and don't always finish completion but that's fine but you can use all of these underlying links to find more information so you can just copy those paste it into any web browser and then it'll come up with that domain and this you don't need any passwords for sometimes it'll be like useless stuff like this is just a photo of one of the shop images but sometimes it'll have like code or source code of the website and you can also have passwords on there sometimes there will be just openly accessed stuff that you can get into administrator stuff it is insane on these websites you can just see a ton of information that you shouldn't normally see and it can help you secure your own website or just find information about websites that you want to know more information about and uh yeah that's about it. That's uh, this is Fair Expressor Tool and a Kali Linux installation with VMware. Thanks for watching.